This video will demonstrate how to take a PDF that a teacher finds online, save it to their computer, convert it to an editable Google document, and upload it for student use in Google Classroom. This process requires teachers to download the PDF, upload it to Google Drive and convert it to a Google document, and then load it to Google Classroom. The first step in this process is finding the PDF that you need to access on the web. Here you can see that I have a PDF file that I found on the internet and I would like to add this to Google Classroom to use with my students. First thing I'll need to do is hover my mouse over the bottom of the page so that this menu bar appears. I'll then click the disk to save a copy of this PDF to my computer. It'll then ask me to rename the file and I will click Save. Once the file has been downloaded to my computer, I'll then need to open my Google Drive. Before I can upload this file to Google Drive, I first need to make sure that my upload settings are set so that all files that I upload to Drive are converted to Google Documents. To do this, I'll first need to click on the Settings gear in Google Drive. Once I click on Settings, I'll look for Upload Settings. If you're using the new Google Drive, you won't immediately have a section for Upload Settings. You'll simply just click Settings. Here, we want to confirm that we have checked both Convert Uploaded Files to Google Docs Format and Convert Text Uploaded from PDF and Image Files. You also may want to check Confirm Settings before each upload in case there's a file that you don't wish to convert to Google Docs Format. Once we have confirmed those settings, we'll come over to the left side of our screen and click the up arrow for Upload. We'll select an individual file to upload and find where that file is located on our computer. We'll see in the bottom right corner of the screen we have a status window from Google that shows the file has been uploaded and converted to Google Docs format. I can click on the file name to open the file. In some cases, the file will save as an image with the editable text down below. If that's the case, we'll simply need to click on the image file and hit the delete key on our computer's keyboard. You may need to modify the text on the screen so that it's formatted how you like. Once we have done that, the next step is to go to Google Classroom. Once I have opened Google Classroom, I'll simply create a new assignment give it an assignment title and any appropriate description and then I'll select to attach a Google Drive item to this assignment and I'll search for that file I just uploaded. Once I've selected the file I can decide whether I want the students to view the file, edit the file, or each have their own editable copy. This has been JP Presvento, the Fox C6 EdTech Coordinator, demonstrating how to take a PDF file and make it editable in Google Classroom.